wanted to talk to you about a diaper called Shop Diaper. This diaper was sent to me by shopdiaper.com. I'm not being paid for this video and I'm not being paid to say anything in this video. I really did not have high hopes for it. I thought there was no way a diaper under $5 was going to be this amazing diaper. I've heard great things about it, but I just couldn't believe it for myself. This diaper comes with one insert and then you have your waterproof cover. It is a pocket diaper and it is one size. Now the insert is good for daytime use. I would not say that this is a great night diaper if your child sleeps longer than two to three hours. Three hours I feel like is pushing it with one insert. If you're worried about that, I would definitely invest in an extra insert or possibly even invest in a bamboo insert. And then this would probably be fine for nighttime use. These diapers hold up really well for him during the day. We change him probably every two to three hours depending upon how much he's had to drink. He is getting older so he's holding his bladder longer so I don't have to change him as frequently as a smaller baby. So this diaper does work for us during daytime or nap time use because he doesn't nap longer than an hour at a time. I love this diaper for daytime. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you the basics of this diaper. The stitching looks really good. The snaps are on there really well. The inside is extremely soft. Again, the elastic looks good on the legs, looks good on the back. And one of the things that I really love about this diaper is that they put the elastic not only on the outer, but on the inner side of this diaper, which I feel helps keep the inside of this diaper up. So I'm not constantly having to pull it up like I've had to do in the past with other diapers. I don't have to worry about flipping down a piece of fabric to cover the elastic and I don't have to worry about the insert coming out the back of the diaper which I've had in past diapers. So I really love that they put that elastic back there. It seems to really help keep everything in place and I don't have to worry about the back of this diaper piece rubbing on his back and leaving a red mark because this piece just seems to stay right where it's supposed to. I absolutely love the diaper for that reason. You can adjust it by the rise to the smallest rise and then you have a medium and then you have it just let it out for a large setting. So I would say small, medium, large. The waist you can see here that it does have the overlapping snaps. You do have to remember to start on this side of the diaper when you are snapping if you're wanting to use the crossover snaps. I haven't had to use that because my son's 20 pounds, so I don't have to cross over. His waist isn't that tiny. I will go ahead and show you uh, him in the diaper. This is my 11 month old. He's roughly 20, 21 pounds. You can see he is on the smallest rise, but there is a space um, for this diaper. So that's why I was like, I'm not really sure how this would fit on uh, smaller babies. Just because when I got the diaper, you know, he is 20 pounds. But you can see it does really well around the thighs and the back fits well around the waist. Now to wash this diaper, what you're going to want to do when you first get it is throw this in the washing machine, rinse cycle on cold, then you're going to want to wash it warm with your detergent, whichever detergent you choose to use. In warm water less than 86 degrees. The reason they say that, you do not want your cover to delaminate. So they suggest you wash in 86 degrees or less. And then I personally do an extra rinse. This company does not re recommend you do that, but that's how I do it. I do an extra rinse just to make sure all the soap and stuff is out. And it's, I feel like that really does help with the absorbency and to keep the stinkies and the, the clogs or whatever you want to call it away. So I would definitely recommend that extra rinse at the end as well. And I usually do that in cold water. Now, as far as drying goes, really with any waterproof cover that could delaminate you should just line dry this. Now if you don't have the option to line dry, dry on really low heat and do not leave in there for long periods of time. I do toss in my covers on low heat for five minutes. Then I take them out and just hang dry them the rest of the way. And the insert I dry on a low heat for about 15 minutes and then I let them line dry the rest of the way as well. So I I do that enough just to kind of fluff it up a little bit. I like that fluffy feeling. I don't like that crisp feeling you get when you just line dry things. If I put these in the dryer for just a few minutes, they're good enough to give it that nice fluff soft feeling and I don't 
worry about it ruining my diaper. Another thing I want to say is I've used this diaper for a good two, almost three weeks now. And everything is still just as soft, still just as white. I'm, I'm pretty impressed for it being a diaper under $5. Really, really impressed. Now, you can go to shopdiaper.com and purchase this diaper with a 5% off discount code, which is Sasha. Very easy to remember. All you gotta do is put in there Sasha and you'll get 5% off your order. Also, if you spend $20, you get a free diaper with your order. I am definitely going to be looking into getting some more of these for daytime use. That's when I go through the most cloth diapers anyway, so why not invest in cheaper ones that I know are going to hold up. I am really, really impressed with this diaper. I wouldn't tell you otherwise if I didn't believe so myself. I really do love it. And like I said, I can't tell you what it's going to do for anyone under 20 pounds, but... As far as 20 pounds and up, I highly recommend this diaper. I will see you guys in another video. Bye!